Uh, obviously, uh, very pleased, very excited uh, to to announce John D. Filippo as our uh, as the new offensive coordinator of the uh, of the Cleveland Browns. I saw this offense play our defense uh, this year when I was in Oakland. Um, you know, I thought they obviously ran the football very well. I think there's a good young stable of backs here. The thing I mentioned yesterday to our people was, you know, the combination of athleticism um, and strength on the offensive line. I mean, for guys that aren't that don't weigh 350 pounds, they change the line of scrimmage. You know, the backs run downhill. Um, you know, those are the things that stand out to you on, on tape. You know, they did a great job in some of the play action stuff last year to be able to get, you know, some of their receivers open behind the guys. So those are the things we're going to continue to explore. I'm going to continue to look at and see where, you know, it meshes and fits with uh, where Coach Petten and I see this offense going. John, the quarterback situation is pretty well documented here. And what, what do you think that you're inheriting or what do you know that you're inheriting in terms of that position? Well, we're not sure if our starting quarterback's in the building right now or not. Um, if he is, that's great. If he's not, that's great too. And uh, whoever's in that room is going to be coached hard, be held accountable, and you know, being expected to do the things that we expect out of Cleveland Browns quarterbacks. You build your reputation on developing kind of young quarterbacks. Yes. And tutoring them. What, how do you make that connection? With those well, I think the first thing you need to do is get a personal connection and, and, and see how they learn. You know, there's a lot of – I spend a lot of time on developing how guys learn. And some guys are visual guys. Some guys need to be coddled a little bit. Some guys need to be ripped. So I think you find that connection on how a guy learns best, and you go with that route. And uh, I think I've you know, done a, a fairly decent job of finding that out with the different quarterbacks I've coached. Uh, you know, what do you think of Johnny, and what do you think of, of him as possibly the quarterback of the future? I'll be honest with you. I'm going to be flat honest because it's the only way I know how to be. I have not. Okay, I have not watched the games from last year with Johnny. Um, obviously, I studied Johnny coming out of college. And, uh, you know, Spent some time with Johnny. I wouldn't say it was a lot of time, but spent some time with Johnny. He flew out to Oakland and, and spent a day with him. You know, can you get an overview on a guy in one day? No, but you know, you can get a grasp of, of what he thinks and, and you know how he's feeling and, and those things. But um, you know, I got along with Johnny when we met with him. So, but I can't I can't tell you that I I have watched the games yet. No, I have not. Do you have any, any gut feeling on whether or not he's somebody that you think you? could work with as, as a starting quarterback here? I know this. Whoever's in our quarterback room, okay, um, is going to be have a clean slate. And um, I'm really looking forward to working with Johnny and, you know, getting him better and, and improving on things he needs to improve on. Brandon Hoyer is, is about to become a free agent. Do you have uh, thoughts on, you know, whether or not you'd like to, to keep him around and, and uh, what do you think of Brian's ability? You know, I haven't watched a ton on Brian, to be honest with you. So, I'm you know, Brian and I are going to meet up at some point this week and, and have a conversation, just get to know each other, and I'm lo really looking forward to that. You know, we're going to put our playmakers in a lot of different spots. I'm a big believer in that. You know, we were very fortunate in Oakland to have a guy, Marcel Reese, you know, we put a, in a bunch of different spots. Um, there's some good young tight ends here, some good young backs that we're looking to, to get matchups. Are they going to line up in the, you know, in the backfield all the time? No. We're going to try to exploit those matchups as much as we can, whether that be from shifting in motion and out of the backfield, whether that be to try to outflank people with motion, whether that be to, you know, uh, just run somebody out and snap the ball in first down and try to out leverage the defense. So we're going to have a combination of those things and, and find out what our playmakers do well and do those things over and over and over again, okay, so they can get great at them. So no matter what the coverage is, okay, they're going to know how to run the route or, or uh, block the play. I mean, change is, is tough, and it's, you know, it's about how you embrace it. And we're going to make this change as, as clean as we can for these players. And uh, like I said earlier on, that um, – as much crossover as that they've done last year, we're going to incorporate those things. Now, will, th will there be some new concepts? Absolutely. Will there be a new way of delivering it? Absolutely. So no two guys are the same when they deliver an offense, when they present in front of the team. You can't be the same as somebody else. So there's going to be change. Uh, but from what, everything I've done, I've done my research, too, on this team. Uh, the players on this, on this offense are a resilient group. Um, you know, they're open to change. And uh, we're going to make it as smooth as we can for them. I know John's ready. Uh, haven't been around him in 2009. Had an out, outstanding interview here last last year. was was very much was very much in, in the uh, in the mix. But that, that's something that you weigh into. Uh, and I know on the outside, there's kind of that pressure to you know, make make more of a a brand name higher. And and uh, I'm not interested in as I said a year ago. I'm not interested in winning off season press conferences. I'm interested in winning games in the fall. And uh, it was very clear to me uh, after the extensive. 
uh, research that I did and the, and, the, and the number of interviews that we did that, that, uh, that John here is the answer for us.